Welcome to video 33 of Gamer to Game Developer Series 1. And this video is about connecting over a LAN and being able to use Hamachi to set up a network game over the internet. So our objectives are simple. First we'll use Hamachi to set up a network and then start a server so that other players can connect to us. Then we'll connect to another Hamachi network and connect to the server on that computer. And finally, I'll show how to connect over a LAN. So do a Google search for Hamachi. And the first result that comes is the one. Go over to it. And we just download the unmanaged mode. So download it. And once you have it downloaded, then just install it. So once you've installed it, you just need to power it on. You give a name for the client. So this will be your client name. So then just create that. And that'll register you. And you get an Hamachi IP address. All right, so the next step would be to create a new network. You type in a network ID. So I'll call it GTGD. You can name it anything. And password, I'll just write GTGD test and click create. All right, so I have a network set up. So the next thing to do would be to tell your friends the network ID that you just wrote and that password, and they'll be able to connect to you over Hamachi. I've just connected with another computer, and the name of that network owner was Kablamas. And I've just connected with them, and you can see them here. So the next step would be to actually run the game. So we simply set up a server, start my own server. You don't need to change anything. And by the way, when your friends have connected to you over Hamachi, it means that they are actually connected to you. You can see their IP address. You can send them chat messages as well. You can just right click and click on chat and actually send them messages so you know that you're connected to them and they're connected to you. So the only problem that you might encounter when having them connect to your game is that they didn't type in the IP address, your Hamachi IP address correctly, though you can copy and paste it. You can actually just copy the IP4 address. Or we changed the port number and we didn't tell them to change the port number when they were connecting. But more likely than those other two possibilities is that our firewall settings are not allowing them to connect. Now that's not likely to be an issue for Windows XP, but if you're using Windows 7, then there's a good chance that that'll happen. So I'll just briefly go over a couple of slides to explain how to change your firewall settings. So if you're using Windows 7, you head over to your control panel. And within the control panel, you go to your Windows firewall. And within the Windows firewall, go to Advanced Settings. Under Advanced Settings, you'll see a bit about inbound rules. You can see here that public profile inbound connections that do not match a rule are blocked. It's likely that our prototype game falls under the blocked list. So you'd go to the inbound rules and you'd see a list of programs that are on your computer up here and you'll see a public profile. And in our case, the prototype game is called uh, GTGD Series 1 Prototype. So you just simply find that in the list and select its properties. So you just go over to it. It's as, you, as I was saying here, you go to his profile, it'll be public, and it'll probably be blocked. So then you just right click on it, select properties, or you can select properties from this actions panel. And then you say allow the connection, make sure it's enabled, and just click OK. And once you do that, it's no longer blocked, then inbound connections will work, other players will be able to connect to your server. So for Windows 7, this is probably what you'll have to do, is to manually allow connections to your game. All right, so when everything is working, 
and our firewall isn't blocking our game, then other players can connect to us. And here I have my other computer, Kablamas, connected to the game, and they can move around, shoot, etc. I'm using a laptop here. And it's pretty simple. So the next step would be, the next objective would be to explain how to connect to someone else's network. And just like how Kablamas has connected to this game, so now we'll see what their end looks like, how it looks like on the connecting side. Okay, now we'll cover how to connect to another network. So someone will have had to tell you what the network ID is and what the password for that network is. So if you know what it is, you can just go to network, join an existing network, and in this case, I know the network on my other computer is gtgd2 and the password. So then I just click join and give it a moment. And yes, I've joined to that network. It's connecting and it's connected. So you can see my old network running there. That's mine. But I'm now connected to another network. And this network belongs to Kablamas. And we can see their IP address there. And I know that they've set up a server already, so I can just copy the IP4 address. Go over to our game, so we connect to a server. Now I can enter a name for my player, so rather than test, maybe I'll type gdgd. And then for the server, I can just delete that and paste it in, Control v paste in Kablamas's Hamachi IP address, and click Connect. Give it a moment. Okay, and we're in, so we're connected to the server. And I can just connect as a red team player. And I'm in their server. And what's the name of their server? It's my server. So that's all good. So we're actually connected to someone else's server now. Well, in my case, it's just another computer that I've connected to. But if you had trouble connecting to someone's game, then the likely mistakes, well, not mistakes, the likely problems are that one, the IP address that we've written is not the correct one, two, the port number is different, and three, the most likely, is that their firewall settings are not allowing inbound connections. If that's the case, that means then no one will be able to connect to them. And you could chat to that friend of yours over Hamachi, because you're connected to them on Hamachi. So that's how you know that you are connected to them. Once you see this, you know that you're connected. It's just some other issue that's not allowing your game to connect. Most likely, a firewall setting. So that's really simple, as you've seen. So the next thing that I'll go over is LAN, and that is super simple. So I'll disconnect and go to that. For LAN, all you need to do is go to your command prompt. So it would be usually under Start, Accessories, Command Prompt. And you'll find it in Windows 7 and XP. And once you're there, just type in IP config, and it'll bring up your IP address. So the first one listed is my Hamachi IP address. And the next one is for my computer. I've just blacked it out here because your IP address is sort of like your house address. You don't need to tell everyone about it, just to the people that you want connecting to you. So this IP address, the one that would be written here, you just need to write it down somewhere. Go to the other computer in your house or wherever it is, and have that person simply type in that address when they're trying to connect to your server. And that's it. And then they just click Connect, and they'll connect to your server over the LAN. So it's pretty simple. You just have to make sure that your computer, of course, your firewall isn't blocking inbound connections. And while you have people on the LAN with you, you could also, with your server, you can also have a Hamachi network running so that people over the web can connect to your server via your Hamachi IP address. The people on the LAN, they don't need Hamachi running at all. They just connect to your, uh, your computer's IP address, but for people over the internet, they can connect to you through your Hamachi IP address. So which is pretty cool, and it works really well.
So we've reached the end of this video. We covered how to set up a game with Hamachi, how to connect with Hamachi, and how to connect over LAN, and it was simple. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.